Hello, I'm a baby boomer. This is not my usual chair because I feel like being someone else today. Good morning, Wigginworth and Wasp. This is Rosemary Slingberry. May I help you? Oh, hi, Sandra. No, I'm just going to have a sandwich at my desk today. I was gone so long at that seminar yesterday that, oh, I didn't tell you about that. It was called Dress to Impress. Mr. Wigginworth paid for me to go. Oh, it was a lot of fun. We had a lunch provided for us uh, up at the top of the Hanover building. Real fancy. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Wigginworth is buzzing me. I got to go, dear. Bye-bye. Well, good morning, Mr. Wigginworth. Say, I want to thank you so much for sending me to that seminar yesterday. Yes, I did learn a lot. And, oh, I met such nice people, too. Just what you said. Um, how to dress to look more professional. Or I think they called it uh, upscale. <laughs> of course, there were some things that I didn't agree with, but oh, it was real interesting. Oh, uh, just that they wanted us to wear those um, somber conservative colors, you know, your dark navy blues and blacks and grays with maybe a mauve scarf for a contrast. Uh, well, nothing wrong with that. It's just that it got me thinking, this uh, dress to impress idea, is this why when you go outside for lunch downtown here, you see this whole slew of business people dressed all alike in these dark colors? It's quite a sight. Droves and droves of them. Uh, it kind of puts me in mind of this herd of black Angus down near where we live, coming down the hill to the barn for their supper. <laughs> uh, well, I'd be happy to satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Wigginworth, but no, I'm afraid you won't get a chance to see me dressed that way. Well, because come to find out, you couldn't buy one of these dress to impress outfits for less than $400. Oh, well, they are? Well, that's exciting. When will they come? Well, we better get things slicked up around here if the board of directors is coming in a week. Uh, take off work for what? Shop for a suit? Oh, I wouldn't dream of taking work time for something like that. Well, now, don't get me wrong. I, I like to look my best at all times. Uh, but, oh, you know, I'd be afraid of spilling copier toner on a $400 suit. Now, I figure it's better to dress for a mess. <laughs> now, did you notice the outfit I'm wearing today? What do you think of it, Mr. Wigginworth? Yes, it does. Fits perfectly. Guess how much I paid for it. Oh, go on. <laughs> no, $20 at the Goodwill. And it wears so well, and um, I can just throw it in the washing machine and hang it up to dry. <laughs> and then, too, you know, I think our clients would rather uh, talk with someone who's wearing a nice, bright color, don't you agree? Say, uh, what are you going to wear when the board gets here? Why don't you wear that lovely powder blue uh, jacket with the palm trees on it that you got in Hawaii that you were so proud of? Yes, you did. You wore it to Mr. Wigginworth Sr.'s retirement dinner. Remember, he made such a cute joke about it. Oh, I'm sure he didn't mean anything negative by that. Well, if he did, that was just his opinion. You liked that jacket, and I thought it brought out the blue in your eyes so nice. You did? Oh, that was sweet of you, Mr. Wigginworth. I'll bet the good will was just tickled to death. Pardon me? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sure about it. Well, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't buy one of these dress to impress suits on a secretary, or excuse me, an executive assistant salary. A raise, oh no, no, I don't want you to think I was hinting. Oh, gosh, no. No, it's just that I think there's a whole lot better things you could spend your money on than dressing to impress. Don't you agree? Oh. Well, if you've got some extra money floating around, uh, we could buy that set of waist-level filing cabinets that we talked about, and I wouldn't have to be bending and stooping all the time. What do you think? No, I checked it out on their website. Um, with our discount, it would cost right around $400. And it comes in, uh, let me think, uh, black, gray, or navy with a cranberry accent. We could dress the office to impress. Should I put in the order? I'm, I'm sure they could have it set up before the board gets here.
Mr. Wigginworth, you sound kind of glum. Not worried about what to wear for the board, are you? I know you'll think of something sharp. And uh, I've got this end covered. The annual report is done. The accounting is all in order. We're in ship shape. Me? Well, let me think. Well, maybe I'll wear my lime green pantsuit with the lavender scarf that matches the buttons. Wouldn't that be cheerful? Uh, did that give you a chuckle? Well, good. And say, Mr. Wigginworth, I just want to thank you again for sending me to that seminar. I wouldn't have missed it for the world.